We're here. Are you reaching in there? It's terrifying. I got it. Stick. Yeah. Okay, that one. What is that? What is that in there? I think it's a turtle because it looks like the same. Guys, this is so cool. I found a picture guy. A picture guy? That's me. Yeah, you found me. Okay, everyone's got their scavenger hunt list. Oh, but I don't and we're in the desert. The Sonoran Desert. That's the gold mine trail. That one's really hard. That's the hardest trail here. The hardest trail. And there's the Sand Tran, Santan Trail and the Moonlight Trail. Are we going on the what? Eight arm cactus. Don't worry, there's lots of eight arm cactus. They're so cool. God bless America. I see an eight arm cactus over there. Whoa. Eight arm cactus. Leilani's got her whistle. She's a whistleblower. She's a whistleblower in the union. Okay, the gold mine trail. We're not gonna do the gold mine trail. That one is so crazy. I can play a song on my whistle. That sounds like jingle bells. All the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Well, hiking in this desert is proving to be very cool. There's horse tracks all over the trail. I can see horseshoe prints, and there's horse poo everywhere along the side of the trail. Luckily, not on the main trail. And I think that they call this a wash. Hey, do you think that's what they call it? A what? A wash. I think that this trail is the wash, and they say, don't go on any other washes. I don't know what that means. It's, you know, desert speak. I don't speak much of the desert. No, maybe it's a washroom. Washroom? They don't have washrooms in the U.S. They have restrooms. They don't wash, they rest. This looks like it used to be, or it is, an old river. You guys see the old river? Look at how it tracks across the trail here. The water definitely cut through there. First one you just, and you just, it smells. It's just, you have to blow. Beautiful it. cactus. Uh, it's dead, but, oh, look at that. That was cool. Don't touch it. It's very spiny. Prickly pear. They make, they can cook with that. Okay. See this right here? This is the creosote bush. And when you, When you breathe on it and then you smell it, it smells like creosote. It still works even though you pick it. <laughs> you can't pick. This is a national park. But it still smells good. I know it does smell good. They have they have these uh, trails and night programs where you come here after sunset, and you can go out into the desert with the cactus, and you can um, gaze at the stars. Wouldn't that be wonderful to gaze at the stars? If you're gazing at the stars, wouldn't you lay down? Well, and you could just hairy, look up. And the hairy... The We're having a discussion about whether it's called a Gila monster or a Gila monster. Like it's a spelled G-I-L-A, and he, in here, in, in Phoenix, Arizona, G-I-L-A is pronounced Gila. Because there's the Gila River, and it makes sense that it would be the Gila monster. So I'm pretty sure that it would be... Gila, but Leilani just brought up a good point and she said, how would we know? Right, Nons? Isn't that what you said? <sighs> because how would we know what its name is? It's not like they speak. That's a brilliant point. Thank you, Leilani. You are so smart. Look at this, guys. Look at what we've got surrounded. We're surrounded by cactus. Look at up that mountain there. There's nothing but cactus everywhere. Cactus, cactus. Cacti, whatever. So cool, woo! Okay, we're just going down this trail right here and we uncovered this dried up riverbed. Wow, so cool. Look at the cactus around us here. And then there's this dried up riverbed and they say you don't walk along it. This isn't the trail. Stick to the trail and the scorpions won't get you. Isn't that right, Leilani? 
Look, there's a dead cactus. Rest in peace, mighty cactus. Oh man, such a sad sight. The desert is so dry. It sucks all the water out of the poop that's on the trail. And you can step on it and it won't even squish because it's so dry. It's been drying for years. Why am I talking about poop right now? There's charcoal bushes and there's spiny cactus. Spiny cactus? What the heck? And there's saguaro cactus. And these ones, these trees are uh, char, uh, not charcoal, mesquite. They're mesquite trees. And that right there is poop. It's <sighs> you all stepped in the poop. Andrew just pooed that out. <laughs> that must have been uncomfortable. That's the world's worst poop ever. <laughs> look at that rock down there. Doesn't that look like the perfect spot for a snake to be hiding? Yeah. Just poking his head out. Oh, don't go near the rock. It looks like there's like a little burrow inside of it too. So. The trail has taken a bit of a turn. It's become much more hilly and cool. We can see way down there to Phoenix. Well, I think Phoenix is behind those mountains past there. But anyway, we're gonna go around this huge mountain range right here. So cool. That is so cool. Look at all that cactus. So neat. Beautiful blue skies. What a great day to be hiking. Look at my hiking explorers. You guys are doing so good. Nons is getting a piggyback from her nice brother. And Andrew's got a sore leg, but he's still going good. Oh, we're into the rocky area of things. We've got probably about half of our water left. And uh, whoa, look at that view of Santan. We're getting a little high up in the elevation. This is really cool. We are really, we're getting through it. This is an awesome hiking trail. It looks so fuzzy. It's a fuzzy, fuzzy cactus. Okay, who wants to hug it? The cactus pooped. <laughs> Ew. Don't touch the cactus poop. Okay, don't touch that, guys. I think that might be its fruit. I don't even know. Whoa, look what's attached to Huey's foot. Oh my goodness! Huey! Oh. Again. <laughs> Andrew, you stepped on Andrew's poop. Okay, just wait, Huey. Such a nice view. That's Santan Valley down there. And then over on this side, we have the Arizona desert. Uninhabited wasteland. Okay, well, I'm slightly breaking the rules because I'm off the trail. I decided to climb up and get a little bit of elevation because I couldn't resist this view. Look at this view. So beautiful. Look at that valley of cactus all the way along there. So beautiful. I'm up on a steep hill. There's the kids. Hi, kids! Hi! It's amazing how well the sound carries when the, what, when the ground is so dry. That's up the hill right there. And I'm just taking my life in my hands by being up here, but I just wanted to get this shot. Okay, I'm going back down now. Please don't step on a rattlesnake. Please don't step on a rattlesnake. Let me see, let me see. Oh, they're so colorful. That one's all jagged, and that one's all smooth like quartz, like a crystal. Cool. Look at this dead cactus. Rest in peace, mighty giant. Wow, look at all the carnage from the dead cactus. That guy is probably 200 years old. And have some respect for the dead. Come on, man, get out of here. Look, that horse pooped right by his grave. 
Sakura cactus. He was an upright cactus until he was not so upright. I know. I wouldn't catch it if it fell over. No way. Cactuses are prickly and they would poke you. Wow, look at this valley, guys. As I walk through the valley of cactus, I shall fear no scorpion. Look at this. Guys, when I think of Arizona, this is what I think of. Cactus and like the monuments. You know, the big ones, the big mountains that have been worn away by erosion. I think it's called the National Monuments, a valley or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they are so cool. And this is what Arizona is all about. Wow, look at that big pile of rocks over there. Who knew that I would ever be so excited about a pile of rocks? Where is it? Where have you gone, pile of rocks? Oh, over there. So these guys are having a break. Are you guys tired? No way. No way. No one's tired. Can I look at my rocks again? Yes, absolutely. Oh, they look different in this light. The Graham family put this beautiful bench here. It says, time on the trails elevates the pulse and soothes the... Thank you, Graham family. Your bench is appreciated. No, no, don't do that. Don't get him excited. Okay. So, let's carry on. There are so many of these cool... See, there's our trail there. But look at down, down this way. Watch out, B. There's all these waterways for when the rain comes down. Ah, poop! But uh, they make up so much to the trail. You have to cross over these waterways, but they're so neat. I don't know, I just love the waterways. It would be so cool to see a waterway in the rain when all that water's gushing down in the desert. That'd be so neat to see. Okay, so we're gonna start changing direction now and getting the sun on the different side of us. What's happened up ahead here? Uh-oh, we've got an injury. A scorpion bite? Who did? Okay, look at this little cactus right here. He's just got a little bud on his arm. Aw, that means that he's about 50 years old. It's about time you grew that bud on your arm. That's the start of his leg, or his arm. Oh, and he's got a little son right there. Oh, that's his grandchild. Ooh, that's a different type of cactus there. I don't think we've seen that one yet, have we? Man, this is a whole area of cactus maybe we have seen those look at those mountains so beautiful okay Where did you see where boats was it it was like just oh, in there oh, it's over there oh. okay stay still oh is that one of those other kind of lizards can i go a little closer this way oh yeah it does doesn't it that's so neat. That, oh, what was that other type of lizard called, guys? No, not the Gila lizard. The, the lizard. other type. Gopher. The non-venomous. The gopher lizard? The non-venomous. It's a non-venomous lizard. Dad, remember that, like, big lizard that's brown and cat color? Yeah. It's his, it's his um, brother. Oh, yeah. Remember that big lizard at the zoo? Oh, yeah, the one that was walking back and forth? Yeah, it was so that big was big so big. scary, yeah. That was the biggest lizard I saw. Dad. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Yes, honey? Um, it would be funny if, like, um, all the snakes were just dancing in a room and going like this. Oh, my goodness, Nana would be freaked out. But it would be funny. <laughs> Good morning. 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 Biking in the desert. Whoa. He's biking in the desert. 
Look at my explorers. I'm so proud of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Wow, we just looked at this cactus right here and we can see the fruit starting to develop on the top here. And Huey remembered that you can make wine out of that cactus. Well done, Huey. Wow, that is so good. Because you can make wine out of that. And some of the Aboriginal people who lived here, they would take, they would get seashells from the coast. They would bring them over here. And then they would, they would, um, they would put a paste, like as a design or a swirl or something like that on top of the shell. And then they would pour some of the wine on top of the shell and it would actually corrode. It would corrode the shell and it would make these little swirly lines and things and cool designs. And they would make uh, bracelets and they would make um, medallions and just little ornate spoons and things like that and bowls, but they are so beautiful. And we remember that. Well done, Hugh. So way off in the distance there through Cactus Valley here, you can see uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and you can actually see the church way off in the distance there as well. Uh, I think that's a Mormon church. It's a big one, but you can see it from here. That guy's got two eyes and a nose. And that one's got boobs. So, woo! So we have seen so many holes along the side of the trail. And I know that that's normal, but there's holes everywhere in the ground. And so I'm wondering, are most of the holes, are they snake holes? Are they mice holes? Are they rat holes? Are they lizard holes? What is the most likely, and are they even ant holes? What's the most likely thing that buries a hole in the ground? That's what I'd like to find out. Oh no, that guy bent his top. He's got a crooked head. Okay, should we continue, guys? Yeah. The longer the rest is the more it hurts to start walking. Yeah, exactly. How's the ride going? Oh, good, thanks. Right on. Look at how tall these are, hey? They're really tall cactus. Wow, look at that one. Oh, he's got two eyes on his head. Looks like Beaker. This is the first time we've seen live prickly pear cactus. Oh, it's so cool. I wish I knew how to cook with it. You must remove the spines and then and then cut it up, slice it up and maybe stir fry it or something like that. But ooh, I wonder what it tastes like. Probably tastes like peppers, I would say. I I've heard that before. I already tasted it. Did you? Yeah. Who cooked it? Florida. We never, no, it was in the store. And it was oh, pickled. right. Pickled prickly pear cactus? The pickled pears? That's oh. cool. Oh, yeah. I remember them doing yeah. an episode yeah. on MasterChef. MasterChef, yeah. Look at this. In this one shot right here, I've got Octilio cactus, the fluffy kind of cactus. I've got prickly pear cactus. That's the octilio right there, and charcoal bush, and saguaro cactus. So cool. Oh, and then there's those fluffy kind of cactus in the background. So many different cacti. And there's those ones over there too. I don't know what they're called. Here we are at one of the nice resting spots. We're almost home. Our car is right down there. Right down there. We'll get there soon enough. Got a little bit of wind to keep us nice and cool. Well, sort of cool. Are you guys hot? Are you doing okay? Yeah, Isn't this an awesome trail? Yeah. Can you believe we went all the way around this giant mountain? Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. Go like 20 minutes and then go back. Yeah. And it turned out we went a long way. Is everyone thirsty for the water that's back of the van? Yes. It'll be good to get that water. <gasps> We're feeling a little tired and dry and hungry. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. Oh, they're not hungry. Oh, well, I'm 
I only had a smoothie for breakfast. I should have had some more carbs. I think carbs would have been better. Barbed wire. Why did they have this barbed wire here? Oh my goodness. This is kind of scary. Why is there barbed wire here? Why can't we go past here? Maybe a snake did this. Maybe there's a really clever snake that knows how to wind barbed wire. And he says, leave me alone. Clever snakes in Arizona. One time I had a snake and I brought him home and I tried to keep him in an ice cream bucket, but he got away. He was a smart snake. His name was Derek. Derek the garter snake, or garden snake? Garter? Guard? I can't remember. Gardener. Gardener snake? Look at the big brother piggyback. So nice. What a nice brother Owen is. Are you having a nice piggyback there, Nons? Yeah. Oh, that's good. We're almost back at the at the van. That was a good hike. That was almost, we're gonna be three hours. A three hour hike. You guys are amazing. That cactus is so happy. He's like, yay, you guys did it. Woo, three hours. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Look at that mountain range right there. Those mountains, right? See those mountains? We walked all the way around them. Can you believe that? Yeah. All the way around them. We went all the way around that mountain range. That is crazy, guys. Holy. Ooh, the dogs are gonna have a fun time. Ooh, crystals, yeah, look those at those. Those are eight dollars. Whoa. Whoa, look at all the animals. Hello, Mr. King Snake. I see you cut your head out. You're just taking He's just hanging out. Mr. Sneaky. Whoa, he's so cool. Such a nice snake. That's a king snake. Whoa, hello, Mr. Sneaky. He's smelling for danger. That's what they do with their tongues, is they smell. Wow, he's so cool. <laughs> 